Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Casey and this is Casey's Joy where I make videos about dolls and doll things that bring me joy and miniature things that bring me joy. And if you could tell, <laughs> I am extremely excited. I'm so excited. I went right to the door, came back and just cut on the camera. I am so excited about this. I'm sure I titled it in the screen. I need to I know I didn't. I'm not going to title it. I'm so excited. Um, this doll line is new. And I am so excited to get this doll. Um, the doll line, they had several dolls, but I didn't, you know, I practice self control. Camera shaking because I'm trying to cut the box open while I'm talking to you. So I practice self control. It's a brand new doll line. And their um, thing is about, um, you know, diversity. Um, to me, it's like focus on diversity as far as um, hair, which is awesome because obviously um, all of us have different texture hair, different color hair, different looks. And so when anything is representing um, the plethora of different textures and lengths and styles then that's something to be excited about especially because we're getting better oh my goodness it's so pretty because you know before where all the dolls all the fashion dolls hair was just straight we didn't have any representation in textures and now we do so i am pleased to share with you my new edition ah, oh my goodness and I, I can't even so the camera is not is making it her look extremely dark because all you see is all this beautiful wonderful hair do you see this okay so this is naturalistas and I'm sure I'm not the, gonna be the first one to get this video out there and I'm I'm a little YouTube channel so you know everybody not gonna see mine but I don't care. I was excited to show you this. So here's the lineup. That's it. There were several of them that came out. I hope you can see that. My, yeah, of course, you know, my lighting ain't the best, but I'm gonna put it up there so you can see it. And I chose her. Now I chose her because her face is so pretty. And I'm going to open her up. Of course, she's not going to be a box doll because she's going to be an out doll. And so they have her name as, I can't pronounce it, but I'm going to do my best. I think it's Laya, L-I-Y-A. So you can pronounce it and take it however you please. The um, founder is Dee Dee Wright Ward. And her picture is on the back of the box right there and I'm gonna hold this up in case you want to read it they are called naturalistas it says a celebration of natural coils curls and crowns so yeah you can see and see it's different textures because you see how hers is not afro hers is wavy and it hangs really long and then she has I want to say she has braids loose curls and then tight curls. So this this one I picked because she has tighter curls. Which if my hair wasn't in locks. Half of my head would be tight curls. The other half would be loose curls. Um, because that's just the way my hair is. My front would be looser curls. Not loose wavy. But just looser curls. And my back would be tight curls like this um, doll. So that's why I picked her because I love that. And also my daughter has um, that hair also where her hair, her coils are tight. So I was like, oh my gosh, look at the beautiful afro. And also not just the afro because a lot of dolls have afros now. But she is actually pretty. So I didn't just pick her because she has an afro all the Honestly speaking, if that's all that matters, who cares? You know, you buy dolls because of the reasons you want to buy dolls. So if I decide to buy a doll and it's only because she had an afro, 
if that's what brings me joy, that's what brings you joy. If you buy a doll just because the doll has really pretty rainbow hair, I love that. Because we do this to bring ourselves joy. Okay. <laughs> I know, this is me being so extra. I haven't taken it off the box. So you know box hair is a thing. So the back of this head is just going to be flat as a pancake. But you can see this hair right now. It's just gorgeous. I like this is going to be a screenshot right here. That's why I'm leaving it here for a minute. Because that might be the thumbnail. Man on oh man. <laughs> can you tell my excitement? I am so. I And you know the funny part is. I ordered this doll way back when, um, you know, it was announced and everything. And I ordered it not thinking, oh, pre-order. I just ordered it. And then I was like, oh, it's pre-order. I'm going to be waiting for a while. Yes. Yes, indeed. You are waiting for a while. I'm doing my best not to mess up the back of the box. I would like to keep the back of the box. That's why this is going to take me a moment. But... I'm just sharing with you <laughs> what happened. So, in the midst, I did order the doll. And then there were some things where the people orders were being canceled, I think. Um, because it's a new line, which I can understand. It's a brand new line. And I guess they really wasn't expecting the demand that they received. So, I think... That's maybe what was going on, but I can't be for sure. I know this doll, her hands are really soft. Like the plastic for her hands are soft. So that's cool. That's a good thing. Uh, so I was, I didn't know if mine had gotten um, canceled or not. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If it gets canceled, then... Oh my gosh, y'all. They didn't put one of them kajinkers in the back of her head. They just put the a little plastic thing around her neck to keep her down. That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. That see, that was smart thinking. No kajinker in the back of your head. Although you got that real hat head um box head situation going on. However, are your legs bendable? No. Your hands are very... Oh, my word. Okay, so this is how the back looks. Like I said, she has that real box hair situation going on. This is her face when you pull her hair back. Isn't she beautiful? Like, look. I'm getting her way up in here. She's just gorgeous. And so, of course she has box hair. You would just pull this out. The hair feels like you know what it feels like well <laughs> i'm about to tell you when you go to for those who do get braids uh, of course i don't get braids anymore but when you go and get braids in your hair they they have textured hair that they use that's what this feels like this feels like the textured hair that i would use to put braids in my daughter's hair i'm just sitting here playing with the hair i uh, fluffing it out and everything yeah, this feels like our hair. This feels like textured hair that you would get from the salon. Her dress says naturalista. Her arms and her hands are soft. They don't bend, but they feel like they could bend. I mean, they bend a little bit, but then they go right back. Her legs don't bend, so she has five points of articulation. And her head... So there's not much movement in the head. There's a little up and down, but not much. Uh, but she is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, her feet are bigger than <laughs> what I expected, but they have these beautiful shoes. Let me show you shoes. I am so... This doll is beautiful. I don't know if or when... I will rebody her. I might order. Um, well, I know I probably will order more. And the other thing. Well, most fashionistas are not that expensive. So she is average price. I guess um, 
she's $12.99, which seems to be like the average price for a small um, up and coming company. So that's a good price, but she is very pretty. They did a really good job on the face mode. They did a good job with the um, shoes because what they did was these shoes are a skin tone to the doll. So you know how you go and you get skin tone pantyhose and stuff like that and sometimes the skin tone doesn't really match your skin tone even though they call it nude okay so these shoes would be nude for her because this is her nude they match her feet so that's why it would look nude so nude to me wouldn't match her these wouldn't be my color nude my color nude would be lighter more of a I guess some people say a caramel color that would be my color nude but her color nude is darker more cocoa color and so these are the shoes and the dress the dress is velcroed in the back is stretchy material so it'll work for all your other dolls the shoes i'm gonna have to try the shoes on another doll i'm not going to try it on another doll right now but i would try it on a different doll to see because they for whatever reason in my mind her feet look a little bigger than other fashion dolls i would say that however she is beautiful she i'm getting the purse out right now and i was able to do it i was able to get her out completely out the package I was able to get her completely out the package without ripping the package. There was no kajinker in the back of her head. It was just a rubber band or I don't know what you call these things. This thing, it was around here. And then they were around her arms and around her feet. And then it was one around her waist. And then the other ones were holding her shoes. That is a smart way to do it. Uh, man, kudos to Purpose Toys. Okay. So, Purpose Toys is, is the brand, I suppose. It's the company. I'm sorry, the company. And these are natural leases. And Dee Dee Wright Ward is an entrepreneur, business developer, executive founder of Purpose Toys and creator of Naturalista. Naturalista is a slick line of contemporary natural hair fashion dolls created to uplift and celebrate children with cool, curly, and naturally textured hair. That is awesome. Great job. I am so, I'm so happy with my purchase. Now I gotta think, am I gonna order the rest? So I'm just gonna stop here. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know if I need the whole I'm not a completer so I don't know if I need the whole thing but this doll is gorgeous and I would love to support a small business small upcoming business now one day in the future maybe they will have made to move but right now she is fabulous the way she is especially them shoes man oh man them heels are given given life given life and then she has her purse I'm going to wrap the little rubber band around her wrist, make it a little easier for her to hold on to the purse. But it's probably really not necessary because the purse seems to have a large hole. But I don't really know how to, I'm never good at that. <laughs> I'm not, i am be honest, I'm never good at that. Yeah, so we just do it like this. So she has her purse and her heels. And she is, and this afro is everything. Okay, I got it all out. Okay, I was talking really fast. I was so overly excited about this that that's why I was like, oh, I got to share it. Oh my gosh, she is just so gorgeous. Okay. They are back on pre-order. The next shipment, I believe, is November. So if you didn't get the opportunity to order previously, then, um, I'm sorry, I got distracted for a moment. If you didn't have the opportunity to order previously, 
I say it is they are twelve ninety nine on Amazon. Um, they I think they're going to be in stores. People have been seeing sightings of them in stores, so I'm not sure if it's Target or Walmart where they're going to be. But yeah, I would say go get one. She is beautiful. Yes, she is. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Your thumbs up really do help me. Um, our little community is growing. And actually, it's not really little anymore. To me, the community has grown grown so big. And I appreciate all of you who subscribe. I appreciate those who leave comments. The comments are always helpful to me. And I thank you so much. And we have bigger... Well, not bigger. We have more to come. More improvements to... Um, the picture quality and all of that and i appreciate you for watching this is so much fun this brings me so much joy i truly do appreciate it from you thank you see you next time bye